Well, on that note, we do have coming up onto the stage next the mayor of Tacoma, Victoria Waters, everybody! How are you doing? It's good to see you. If this is a song. Oh, it's, it's on. It's, it's, it's on. on. Okay, good, great. Perfect. So last time you were here, you yeah. were you were not mayor. Well, I was a council member, I think, last time I was here. Yes. And so how like how how's the gig? How's it like it's the best job in the whole wide world. Like being mayor of the city that you grew up in is like the best job. So if any of you are from this area or from your hometown, Find an opportunity to be mayor, because it is the best <laughs> job in the world. I'm telling, there's nothing better. I appreciate that you're just like, come take my job. Come take it from me. Go oh, ahead. No, 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 because by the time you get ready to come take it, I'll be gone. So we'll be okay. <laughs> so I understand that we, we mentioned there was the whole bike thing, motorized bikes and stuff, and uh, Tacoma was the first place to have the Lime scooters, and you played sort of a role in that. Is that true? That is very true. So I had an opportunity in August to go to Copenhagen and learn about their infrastructure. So in Copenhagen, people don't own cars. They ride bikes, or they ride scooters, or they catch the train or the bus. Because they, they have a bridge in Copenhagen that 50,000 bicycles go over a day. Wow. It's a lot of bikes, right? So I got to Copenhagen, and I loved bikes so much. I thought, well, how can we do bikes at home? And then I got home, and we got a test run from. And you got scooters. We got scooters. <laughs> we got well, we got bikes too. We got scooters and bikes. Oh, really? We got 100 bikes in Tacoma, 250 scooters from Lime, and now we have 250 scooters from Bird. So wow. we have 500 scooters in Tacoma. Wow, that's awesome. And we beat Seattle. Woo! Yeah. So did the, I, I understood they came to Com Tacoma first. Is that, that true? That, that is absolutely correct. So why Tacoma? Why did they come here? Because w Tacoma's better than any other place. <laughs> no, they, they, they came to Tacoma because we were open. Mm -hmm. um, we, they came and talked to us, and we thought, you know what? Well, some people thought we should take a much longer time. So we thought, let's wait till spring when it's nice outside and bring scooters. And I said, why wait? Let's do a pilot now. Oh. And so within two weeks, we had a system in place to take scooters, so we had Lime for the first month, and then, and then, um, oh shoot, Bird, thank you, <laughs> thank you audience. So then Bird came and said, well we want to be in Tacoma too, so here we are. Wow, and yeah, so we just get to have, I feel like growing up, becoming mayor, and then giving your town motorized scooters, like that's, that's the That's pretty cool, right? That is, and so just today, because I don't believe in just putting bikes and scooters in our cities. That makes no sense if you don't use them. Mm -hmm. So today I had to go from my office, which was downtown, to the Tacoma Dome, and I got on a scooter and got you there. You rode a scooter. I yes. Absolutely. Yes. I ride a scooter. <laughs> my goal is to ride a scooter in every city I go to and take a picture of myself on a scooter in front of City Hall. So just earlier this week, I was in Detroit. I rode a scooter in Detroit and took a picture in front of City Hall. Wow, that's, a, that's like a unique thing that's like, not everybody's like, you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna ride, ride a, a scooter. scooter in every city. I'm gonna ride a scooter. So, I, getting into a little more of the more serious things, from scooters to <laughs> the, the political climate is obviously very polarizing right now. What is it like to be the, a leader in a city where there is so much polarization in the political climate right now? You know, on a national level, there's a, there's, you know, everything is polarized. And probably even when we think about, you know, con congressional races and even some state races that make sense. But you know what? I was just with a group of mayors um, in, in Detroit. And when mayors talk, people don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. People don't care what your views are. People expect mayors to get stuff done. It doesn't take a Democrat or a Republican to fill a pothole. It takes somebody who cares about potholes in your city, right? So at, on a very local level, like when I get up every day, we don't think about Republican and Democrat issues and we don't think about being polarized and we think about how we bring our city together and how we work together to make Tacoma a great place for everyone who lives here. Wow. That was, that was just so beautifully well said. I wish that, I wish that was the mindset just all the time with everything. And That's how it should be. Yeah. Um, so I heard that uh, you have been supporting some sort of global relation, global outreach thing. 
Um, uh, Ms. Uh, Melanie Cunningham was actually telling me about some sort of global outreach program. Could you talk about oh, that? Oh, we have sister cities. That's what she says. I was like, okay. which global outreach thing? You had me scared for a second. Um, no, we have a program in Tacoma that we call sister cities. Okay. So we have 13 sister cities um, across the world. Okay. And so with these sister cities, we either have partnerships with them because there's an educational opportunity for us to share, because there's a culture or heritage opportunity, because there's an economic development opportunity. So we have all of these sister cities that we work with um, to try to bring, you know, to, to, to kind of bridge the gap so that we have a greater appreciation. Um, at, at one of our um, uh, community colleges in Tacoma, we have an exchange with one of our Asian sister cities. Oh. And we have students that go over there and we have students that come over here. Um, right here at PLU, with working with Ms. Cunningham, we have, a, we have a sister city program with George South Africa. Wow. And early in my term, I had the president of, of the university from George South Africa come to visit me and talk about how we could create better opportunities for students right here at PLU to have an opportunity to do an exchange with students from George, South Africa. Wow. That's yeah. really cool. How many That's of you really want to go cool. to George? <laughs> I was thinking, so like, have you seen Parks and Rec? The, the sister said, is it like that? I mean, it's probably not like that, but is it, is it, is it that idea? I have to be honest. Because I was a park and recs, because before I became a, a city council member, I was a parks commissioner. I didn't watch parks and recs because I was afraid I was going to recognize way too much of it from the work I did every day. <laughs> That's awesome. So unfortunately, I haven't seen it. Which, I mean, I, it's really good. It's very funny. I, I, might, yes. have, I might have yeah. to... Can I watch it on like Hulu or? Um, is it on Netflix? Is Netflix? that the only place? Is that Netflix? Okay, I, yeah. so maybe I'll watch it. Yeah, please do. I need a good binge show. Yeah, if, if you take anything away from coming here, please take Parks Carson and Rec. Rec. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you see as the biggest need in the community right now? Like in our community, what do you see as like the biggest thing that the Tacoma needs? Okay, so two things, if I can. Yes. One is people need better jobs. They need good, when you all graduate, don't you all want good paying jobs? That's why you went to school, right? <laughs> but more than just good paying jobs, I want good paying jobs for the people who work here, who live here. I don't want people to get good paying jobs. I don't want people from Seattle to come down and get all the good paying jobs in Tacoma. I want the people who live in this area to get good paying jobs. But in order to do that, we've got to create better paying jobs in Tacoma. So that's something I'm really focused on. The second thing is if you get a good job, and if you graduate from school here and you want to live here, you should be able to afford to live here. So yes. affordability <laughs> is a big deal. What's, uh, what, what do you have, what are you working on to try to make that happen? So we just released a, a housing action plan. And what I like about it is that it's not a housing study. It's not an affordable housing study. It's an action plan. Keyword, action. Um, and our goal is to, in the next, um, I believe the next 10 years, um, either preserve, build, or build 10,000 additional units of housing in Tacoma. Wow. Affordable housing. And affordable housing does not mean, you know, that like in, in, in Pierce County, we say that the area medium income, so a quick mm -hmm. education, area medium income in Pierce County is $52,000. A lot of people come out of college and a lot of people take jobs paying a little bit over minimum wage, which is closer to $26,000. $52,000 is not affordable. So when we talk about affordability, I'm talking about 50% of the area medium income. And that's where we have to have a greater focus because those are the people who are in most need of housing in our community. Wow. Yeah, I like that you said action. That was something that... Yeah, right? That's... Yes, that's something that doesn't happen. That things just don't happen all the time. No, we just have lots of plans. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have, if elections are coming up, before uh, our time running to an end, do you have anything you'd like to say to all the potential voters in the audience? So I borrowed this pin from my daughter tonight. Vote. All I want to tell you, now I could sit here all night and tell you about who I think are the best candidates, and trust me, I, I have a few. <laughs> But for me, what I want to say to the students and the people here tonight, vote, vote, vote. You cannot talk about or complain about what's happening if you don't vote. A lot of people say, well, my vote doesn't matter. 
Every vote counts. I just heard a story today where there was a race somewhere back east where the two candidates actually tied. And the winner was, the winner was, uh, was chosen by pulling a name out of a hat. That is not the kind of, what? those are not, I actually heard, and I heard this today from someone I trust. That that's how the candidate, and that's how the winner was chosen. We don't want that kind of that kind of system in this area. So, whether you live in Tacoma or in Pierce County, or you vote by absentee ballot back home, vote. It is a, your obligation. It is your obligation as a citizen and as a person who has a right to express their opinion to vote. And so tonight, not only do I ask you to vote and get a plan to vote, I ask you to ask make sure that five of your friends vote, that they turn in their ballots and they vote. Can you all do that for me? Yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Give it up for Victoria Waters, everybody. We've